to do so. Presiding officer, this programme confirms what we already know about this Nationalist Coalition. That it's a government that is being drawn away from the priorities of working for Scotland, drawn away from the priorities uh, that really matter to people. And there will be tens of thousands of SNP voters who no longer recognise the party they voted for, who rejected Harvey and Slater's extremist views in the ballot box, only to watch in horror as Nicola Sturgeon let them walk through the front door of Butte House. We cannot support this programme because it puts another referendum ahead of our recovery from the pandemic. Yep. Not only does this disregard the essential support that we've seen over this period from the UK Government, but it is also totally the wrong priority. It's irresponsible and it's reckless. The fact that this Government cannot park its obsession when faced with countless problems facing Scotland today tells us everything we need to know about Nicola Sturgeon and her priorities. When our NHS is on the brink of a fresh winter crisis and our economic recovery hangs in the balance, the SNP and the Greens would prefer to waste taxpayers' money on preparing for a second independence referendum. This is a programme for independence, not a programme for government. And so long as this coalition continues to put separation at the top of their plans, the Scottish Conservatives will continue to oppose this nationalist agenda. Thank you.